Ladies and gentlemen, software is falling apart. But you already know this. No doubt it is why you are here at this conference. So let's assume you all agree on that. What some of you believe is that we can fix this. And I'm here to tell you to give up. It's not going to happen. And why is that? It's because you live here. You live on this ship that's on fire. These are the platforms in which you inhabit. This is Windows, this is Linux, this is Mac. This situation is not going to get better. In fact, it is getting worse. And you can feel it every day as you use these systems. You could have fixed this problem a long time ago. You could have put out the fire when it was small. But that time has passed. And now the only correct option is to realize your fate to abandon ship. But there's a sliver of hope here, because if we abandon ship, if we give up, we can realize the other card that we can play. We can realize that we can now build a new ship. Now, this ship here, what we could build, is small, not very useful, but notice how it is not on fire. If we got aboard this ship instead, this is now what our future looks like. The new ship is not on fire. And in fact, we are, we're on it to improve it and make it better. And so clearly in some period of time, we surpass the old ship and then are able to reach new heights that we were never able to see before. I am here today to tell you about my new ship. This is it. This is the physical hardware. I'm using it to give you this presentation right now. And um, of course, there's a software component as well. We have this primitive shell. Uh, I can run programs. Shouldn't be surprising. There's graphical uh, functionality as well. You know, what you would expect. We can ha compile things as well, because of course there is a compiler. Otherwise, what would you do with a computer? There you go. There's a compile. But the specifics are more interesting. This system is entirely self-hosting. It is entirely written from scratch. But that does not mean written in C. That means from scratch in that I have made both the programming language and the tool chain that supports this system. The system has no drivers. To those of you who have watched Casey Muratori's 30 million lie problem talk, this is uh, no surprise. This is the obvious correct action. I am solving the 30 million lie problem. Programs cannot access the file system by default on this operating system because otherwise, if you live where we currently live, when you download a program off of the internet, it can read all your files and send them back to somebody else on the internet. It can encrypt all your files and demand ransom. This is a clear oversight. And by doing things very differently from how Unix does them, we can just fix this in one easy swoop. Now, in summary, the message I have to you today is to stop spending this effort trying to put out the fire. Give up and start forging your own path. And I invite you to join me on my new ship as I try to do exactly that. You can find more information about my project at samishmith.com slash serenum. You can buy now at taberna.shop, gets you one of these and access to updates that I put out weekly as I continue to improve the system. And you can, of course, come to my booth where we will have a system up and running that you can play around with and look at. And of course, I will answer all your questions in depth there. But now I think it is time for audience questions.